Hi, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the CoNLLU annotation schema for describing linguistic structures. To put it simply, CoNLLU is an annotation schema for describing the linguistic features of diverse languages and for compiling these descriptions into linguistic corpora for distribution. Let's start by opening a CO and LLU annotated plain text file from the Georgetown University multilayer corpus by providing the path to this file to Python's open function. We open the file for reading using the mode R and declare that the file is UTF-8 encoded and then we proceed to read the contents of the file and assign the result under the variable annotations. If we check the type of the resulting object, we see that it's a Python string. Let's print out the first 1000 characters of this string to get a feeling of the CoNLLU annotation schema. The CoNLLU annotation schema defines three types of lines. To begin with, we have comment lines, which are prefixed by a hash character, which can be used to provide metadata on the sentence that follows. In this case, we have four comment lines for each sentence, which give metadata on the document ID in the corpus, the identifier of the sentence that follows, the raw text, that is annotated in the sentence and in addition the sentence type or grammatical mood which in this case is infinitive. Next we have a set of eight word lines which each provide the annotations for a single word or token. These annotations are spread out over 10 columns which are separated by a tabulator character. In the first column we have the index for the word in this sequence and as you can see the counting starts from 1 and not from 0 as usually done in Python. In the next column we have the word form or how it appears in the text followed by its lemma in the next column. Next we have the universal part of speech tag followed by a language-specific fine-grained part of speech tag. The following column in turn gives the morphological features of the word. The next column gives the syntactic head of the current token. This information is provided using a number that refers to the index of the token. So in this case we see that the token on the first row is governed by the token on the third row. The following column defines the syntactic dependency that holds between these two tokens. Next we have a column for the so-called enhanced dependencies which can be used to provide more information on the syntactic structure. These annotations are not available in this corpus, so the missing values are replaced with an underscore which is used to indicate missing or non-existent values. The final column on each word line is reserved for miscellaneous annotations, and in this corpus, for example, we can find annotations for discourse structure, um, entities, and also information on whether the word is followed by a space or not. And this brings us to the final type of line in the CoNLLU annotation schema, that is the blank line which is used to separate sentences in the annotation. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this brief introduction to the CoNLLU annotation schema useful. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.